It doesn't matter what I say. But it but it does so many different I want to, like, I want to scream, but, like, I guess there's a restraint there. Like, we're all, we're all restrained. There's rules, there's cultural rules, family rules, things that are just sewn into us over time that just block us. So maybe that's why I can't scream right now, even though I kind of feel like... I push on stuff. I reflect, I push on. I push on those, I don't know, walls, norms, right? I think. But on top of whatever I was already feeling with the motorcycle driving by and the cars, I'm like, that's extra annoyance. I don't know what to, how to express right now. I freestyle sang before, I freestyle rapped. I've, there's a lot of, there's written raps. There's a written song from 
years ago. Like, it's not that no one cares. Like, some people see these videos. And actually, sometimes, I almost, I could be wrong, but it almost seems like more people watch stuff than I'm aware of because on Facebook, like, I share it on Facebook, and then on YouTube, it only shows a few... On YouTube, it only shows a few views, but on, but then I find out from some people that they watch, like, there's people that have watched my stuff before, so maybe the YouTube views aren't fully representative of everyone that sees it, that sees stuff. Because someone from the, someone from the football team said they they've watched, it sounds like they watch a lot of videos. There is one girl that we haven't talked for a while, but she, like, apparently liked them. My boss at Dollar Tree used to watch them. Another, like, like, supervisor, and, like, not to the level of the boss, but, like, below that used to watch and was, and, like, like, there is some, there's some people that these videos, that, like, some of my stuff has meant something to. There's like, there's people that have come to MSUM that like, like they saw like the Dragon Football videos or something, or the student or the student senate campaign. I think I know. I feel like I've seen like a, or I feel like I've talked to like a football player or something that. Um, that has a like I feel like there's like a football player for the Dragons that like got was getting like I don't know if he was touring or getting recruited or he already was on the team but like there's someone that was like new to MSUM or like that either the one of the dragon football videos or some of the dragon like they saw maybe one or more of the dragon football videos maybe just one someone told me that i feel like that person told me like that i could be misremembering but i feel like that person told like said that's why they joined the team or something i feel like i could but at the same time, I, I kind of feel like I remember someone saying something like that. I don't know. And or the student senate video, like, was what someone saw. This year is like, like last year was challenging, but this year is like what maybe 2020 was for some other people. Granted, 2020 had some, I don't know, I've, I've said some of this stuff before examples of stuff that people have gone through. Just, like, no one, no one cares about these videos. It's not, it's not these videos that's why I'm, like, stressed right now. Like, I'm, 
I'm emotionally struggling off of like other stuff, I feel like, but I came here to express and in trying to come here to express, that's what I ended up talking about. I came to do this video as a means of expressing the whatever I'm feeling inside or the emotionality or whatever that I'm feeling but then once here just no one cares about like whatever video whatever whatever form of express like how many forms of creative expression have I done on this channel like nothing caters to attention or not like but maybe more people watch that I'm aware of. Like I said, I can think of, like there might, unless I'm remembering wrong, which could be, I feel like there is a football player that said like he was playing, and maybe that's, I mean, not, maybe it shouldn't be taken to that level, but like that one of my videos, maybe wasn't even just one, was like why he was playing or something. And I know, like I said, the two at least like two people from my old job were into it. A football a, t a teammate said they've watched like five like I think you said like five hundred of. <laughs> maybe that's not maybe that's not a perfect exact number. But I think that's what he said was like around 500. But that that might not be that might not be exact. Like what is what is it what does it take to be heard? I gotta be I don't like I didn't want to be I don't want to be gimmicky. Like if I come to that naturally, but like I just wanted to be just heart like raw heartfelt, not like. I didn't, I don't want to do all that, that I don't want to, and I don't want to force people. I don't want to make people watch me. I don't want to be like, share, like, subscribe, or this or that. Like, I'm not trying to force you. It just is, it is what it is like here. And there's some dope stuff that's been created just because no one's like landed on it or no one's like made some, or it hasn't. But it almost, it seems like you, like, have to, like, there's, like, a certain buzz that needs to be created. It seems like things don't just move of their own. Like, people that are successful, yes, they, in, in YouTube or not even just YouTube, like, people that are successful, like, they had to, like, push their stuff. And I don't push my stuff. I didn't want to. Or I don't want to. Is there no success for a person that's not wanting to push their stuff on people? But I came here frustrated, even though once here I'm, it's like, well, whatever I create off of this frustration, who's going to hear me? How, what should I still, what should I express in this moment? Freestyle singing, freestyle rapping. But no one would care. It could be like, like there's out of the 1,800 something videos, it's not like they're all trash. And even the ones that got more views, I got 6,000 views or whatever. It's in connection to Eminem. Eminem is a relative topic of that video. Granted, there are other Eminem videos that I made that don't get views, so... But still, the ones that... The videos I made that are 6,000 or near 3,000 are related or in, in connection to someone who's famous, so... So you have to push yourself to be successful. You can't just... People, people can't find good by themselves they have to be it has to be like force fed them 
I have to be like, hey, look at my stuff. Look at my stuff. Look at my stuff. Look, share, do this. I have to, I have to force it on people. So what about the people that just want to make money and care about, I mean, there's people that can do both that care about their themselves or their things, but also somewhat care about their audience, but hopefully there aren't people that only are caring about themselves because how many people are actually, including me, how many people are actually going and finding the good? Finding the breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs that lead to that lead to treasures and truth or whatnot themselves, versus just being spoon-fed what is given by the people that push their stuff. Because I, in all the videos I've made, like anything can happen to anyone, even though there's always crap in my beard. That was a dope series, and that ish has low views. I remember I w started watching, I started, I was thinking of making like a sequel or like kind of spin off series to 100 Days of Freestyle. And I listened to like maybe just even the first video, and I was just like, I think I was saddened from that because it was like, wow, this is like, and, and the amount of views it had was so low. If I recall correctly, that's sad. just people this year like but I but my friend gave me a fortune cookie though this year and that's like maybe a week some days ago and in the fortune cookie it had something that I thought was really cool it says that every adversity carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit and that's dope and and I was talking with that same friend of just, just, just all those, just different stuff that's just bugging me right now. Like there is stuff with a past U-Haul boss. There is stuff with um, a Christian that I, a lot of times Christians annoy me, even though that's my upbringing, even though, and maybe even my future at least, and something that maybe I'll just be tied to in some sense, I would think, because of what God did some years ago. But someone that I like really respect in the realm of Christianity, something like kind of off or kind there's something with him kind of even this, this friends with that. I got this fortune from her boyfriend. Um, and even like, and then the head coach in football, like for some, like was saying that he wanted to be called like, coach or head like instead of like his last name which when I thought about it like and I think of like um think back to like past basketball coaches um or my past basketball coach it seems absurd to think of just calling him his last name so in that sense it makes sense but I mean that just bugged me like I heard a player call him his just his last name just today like and then even on our group page or whatever someone referred to I noticed someone referred to him as just his last name so like that just that bugged me that bugs me like I wanted like now I kind of just want to call him his last name but at the same time in hearing other people call him just his last name it may be that it's not just me even though I brought that up if he actually read like everything I said and like actually like really danced with it there's better um learnings that could have happened potentially Because it's not just me, then it's people like call him that, and maybe he's really that. Maybe that bugs him when everyone says that, and that's something that if like he would have more tr like danced with me more in that conversation. But at the same time, as a head coach, and especially in especially in this day and age, with how people can get on you about stuff, but like you really maybe you can't necessarily have heart to hearts or whatever.
I guess maybe talking will just be the expression medium for this video. <sighs> and like this, and this woman, this woman at the mall, like just maybe she has pain in her own life. And this isn't from today. This is from like roughly a month ago, but yo, like, just like, and maybe she just has pain in her own life, or maybe something I did came across a certain way and it's, and it's a misunderstanding. Maybe something I did came across a certain way and it was a misunderstanding. But maybe she just has toxicity in her own being that just, and that's just her world. Or maybe, like, maybe there's people, like, guys, I'm a guy, so maybe, maybe there's guys in her past that have just hurt her and whatnot, like. But, like, that was just, yo, like, girls can be so, like, hurtful, but. But shoot, I get like, but that's my lens. That's my experience. You know, that's, that's me. You know, other people have their own lenses, their own truths, their own experiences. But that like, and sometimes there's stuff that just can, a person can have such a negative effect on you and they may not even realize. Like the day that all this, that all that stuff happened with her, that she's like saying I'm a creep and like saying that, that like I want, that she like saying that she's gonna like get me, or say something about getting banned or something. Like that was the day before my birthday. Does she know that? No. Would she even care, potentially? Potentially not. But... And then if I had a bad experience, that means there's other people that have had bad experiences like that. And even on her side, there are women who are more, like that have experienced something, but with legitimacy like that. So, like, a woman that, like, legit. Because, like, versus this, like, unless it was a misunderstanding or something, I don't know, but, like, that's, like, her situation is, like, a going from zero to, like, 3,000. But there are also probably, there are also probably women in her situation, or, like, women that her feelings, like, reflect and in these other people's situations, they're actually legitimate. So, like, there's women that... Or maybe there's a past situation where she felt like this and it was legitimate. And I don't know, but... So there's... And, I mean... And then there's people that are just, like, just edges... And not even edges of the world, but just places in the world where people are just really going through stuff that are that's just horrid
this video won't matter. Like, I guess it, it might, you never know, but it, it won't.